Horses and geldings lining up in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting game for tonight's fourth race. Upstairs to track announcer Vance Cameron for the call. J.J. Landon, Nolan's Magic Sway, Affair Somewhere, Bohannon, a Redland Sampson, top of the stretch. Here they come. Rough and pacing on the rail. J.J. Landon, the first one out. Bohannon is second at the rail. Nolan's Magic Sway, third. Fourth into the turn affair somewhere. And from the outside, fifth. That is Redland Sampson. At the eighth pole, it's J.J. Landon in line to Corey McPherson with the lead. Nolan's Magic Sway away second, dropping in third. That's Bohannon, fourth at the rail to fair somewhere. And trailing the field, that is Redland Sampson in fifth. So they're in straight alignment, this compact field of five, as they move on by the first quarter mile, led by J.J. Landon, just 30 and one second that's the long shot nolan's magic sway racing from third at the rail is bohannon fourth is a fair somewhere and trailing the field that is redland sampson so there's not a lot of step on the front end as they arrive at the opening half mile and the unchallenged leader at the midway point is J.J. Landon. Second, Nolan's Magic Sway. Here comes a fair somewhere. Upon the outside, the opening half mile, man, it's soft. And I mean soft, just 101 and 1. 31 seconds in the second panel. Up the back stretch they go with the final time, led by J.J. Landon. Nolan's Magic Sway, second, third, Bohannon, they're racing fourth on the outside of fair somewhere, traffic a little tight as they go to three quarters. From the outside, fifth, that is Redland Sampson, and he'll split them now. On by the three quarters, and the tempo picks up. J.J. Landon was there in 130 and won. That was 29 seconds flat in the third and they're homeward bound jj landon looking to close it out nolan's magic play is second redland sampson coming third but it's jj landon all the way for Corey mcpherson second is nolan's magic way redland sampson rallies up third and the time for the mile 158 27 four closing quarter Big back half in here for this guy too. J.J. Landon gets it done on the front end. Another one from the pole position, getting all the respect off the wings. Drivers grabbing leather off the gate here tonight at Red Shores as McPherson makes no mistakes with this three-year-old gelding by Tobago Case. Runs him right down the road here, 30 and one half, 101 and one. Really soft for this group. And then they're going to pace a nice back half here. Get it done in 158. That's his uh, fifth win on the campaign from just 15 starts. J.J. Landon and McPherson get it done here in the fourth. J.J. Landon arriving at the fourth race winner's circle. Big pacing gelding three by Tobago Gaze. 
off the Amerifan Gigolo Dam, J.J. Mistress. Owned by David Lund of Moncton, New Brunswick. Bred by Jamie McKinley and Windermere Farms. Trained by Jules Barrio, Corey McPherson with a catch driving call to the winner's circle. The horse picks up his fifth lifetime victory tonight. The mile 158, J.J. Landon in the fourth. <laughs> 